Well, as you know, the Secretary General has been concerned about this for a long time, and I'm very pleased that he's launched this program uh, against the xenophobia. He has this new program called Together. That's all very important to us, to let migrants of uh, the positive side of migration be told. Because historically, migration has always been overwhelmingly positive. This great city of New York is built on the backs of migrants, with the brains of migrants, and is still being done so today. And I said at, my, uh, at one of the sessions here that if all of the migrants, recently arrived migrants in New York City, were to form a city, they'd probably be the third or fourth largest city in the United States. And the 244 million who the UN has documented as being international migrants, they would be the sixth largest country in the world. Slightly smaller population in Indonesia, slightly larger than Brazil. So it's a big issue. It's a, it's a, it's a big factor in our life. But the, only the negative side is being told. And now you have the worst of all worlds because those fleeing terrorism are being suspected of terrorism. And that's the worst part of the toxic narrative. The yeah. other aspect of that is we've got to show some political leadership on the question and help our people to understand that given the demographic imbalances between Global North and Global South, our societies are all going to become much more multi-ethnic, multicultural, multi-religious, multilingual. But if we aren't preparing our people for that, it won't go well.